What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. I'm here with my girl Moochilla Moochie Review. What's good? Ew. Got the hammers. What's up, everybody? What's, What's good? Up? What's Queens good? is in the building. <laughs> Queens stand up, QB. <laughs> so we gonna break down a little bit more of Raising Canaan episode eight, and uh, you know, talk about a couple more points. Like, one of the things I wanted to talk about is how Rock handled the meeting with Sal. And, uh, you know, was that the best way or is another way she could have handled it? And then also, like, uh, from a woman perspective, why you think she operate the way she do? Um, I got a theory on it, so I want to hear yours and then, you know, we'll talk about it. But why you think Rock, you know, kind of is a little disrespectful in how she dealing with some of this? Um, I feel like she, this is just her. She's, she's gonna, she's gonna voice her opinion no matter who she offends. Mm -hmm. She's gonna voice her opinion no matter who she offends. And it's not even, I feel like I have to be tough because I'm, the, I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. It's not even that. I'm just letting you know I'm a boss and this is how it's going down. Now, look, she's not doing that much talking with Cartier for Reed. She's just listening and picking up stuff. Mm -hmm. What's up, J. Kim? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, she she thinks, like I, I mentioned on Brock, I mean on Rock, on Lamont, uh, that she's the smartest person all the time and that she's going to be able to outthink and maneuver all these guys. Um, mm -hmm. so how she talked with Sal, I mean, the first time and tore up the proposal, didn't even look at it. Um, then he's telling her about what happened and his son is dead knowing damn well, if her son was dead on the same exact situation, she'd be wanting blood too. But she talked to him and didn't try to like find a mutual ground. She just blew him off. I mean, why is she so quick to blow these people off? When she not really in that position of power, she thinks she is. I mean, why she dealing with this in this man's world this way? Why you think? Think she thinks that's the best way? I I feel like look, I I tell you how I'm hurting, and you throw this back in my face. <laughs> look, she about to see him. She about to see an ugly side of him. Mm -hmm. Cause he he already look like 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 Lamont said it. The call was made on the bat phone. So <laughs> the hitters is, the hitters is out there now. Right, right. Uh, one reason that I think that Rock may operate the way she do, and yeah, it is probably just her now is who she is. But um, one way I had said is like how you see some women that live in a as a male presenting can sometimes be overly uh of what a man would be or men that live as a female would be an over aversion of what a woman would be uh with all the extra makeup and all the stuff is like a overdone so maybe i'm thinking rock being the gangster in the man's world is doing like an over impression of what a gangster man might be doing mm -hmm. and maybe she not realizing you kind of overdoing it and if you was a dude, you might have been killed by now. Um, so I don't know. What do you think? I may be reaching um, or what? I, no, I feel like you got you hitting a po some points with it. She she does. He, he how can I say it? He admires her. Don't get me wrong. He admires her, her her determination and all of that. But you can't rub anybody the wrong wrong way. Even though they like you, mm. but you like I, I like your style. But look, certain things you do, you like you moving real reckless right now, girl. Mm -hmm. And that's and he seemed like he wants to put her in a place, but I feel like it's not gonna go like how he's thinking it's gonna go too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. His his he's got a sloppy uh, Italian mobs <laughs> as we see. They ain't really got. Nothing done right, uh, and his hitters ain't really hitting right, and even his son to screw up, and damn, they got raped in prison and all this. And so his his crew ain't as hard as uh, Tony Soprano's, so to speak. So I don't know. Mm -mm. Yeah, it'll be a good one. Well, you know what though, he his his 
His crew is not hitting hard, but in the beginning they was. You gotta yeah. give it to him. In the beginning they was, cause they they basically stole money from her twice. But what is this his karma for the way he was operating in the beginning? Yeah, maybe. That's a good point. Um, so a lot happened this episode. We've all pretty much talked about the best points of the episode, so. It's one point that we haven't been able to get to on pretty much most of my shows and uh, Lamont and other stuff. And that's, I call her Burkle, because she like Urkel, little nerd cop. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is up with Burkle? Why is she... She already got her warning, and she's still doing too much. Right. What is she doing? Why does she care about what happened with him so much? I got a small theory Maybe she's getting payback, maybe upset, or got a chip on her shoulder because he did kind of give her the cold shoulder and check her when they started. So is she like trying to subconsciously get some payback or what? Like, what is up with that? Look. Burkle, what you say, Burkle? Yeah, she Burkle. Her, her, her superior already, she's like, look. She's still going to question this woman and you already got pulled in and and was like, look, you need to keep your head down and do your work. You still doing too much. Right. And and then she take it to a whole nother step and go find a new person she ain't talked to, Rock. And then say, y'all had an inappropriate relationship. You was a CI. Damn. Like she supposed to be in the grocery store getting apples. Oh yeah, I used to snitch. What about it? Yeah, I used to screw that cop that I was snitching to. What's up? How you know? What she thought she was going to get? Uh, I mean, come on. Rock is a career criminal now. <laughs> what you really thought you was getting from this woman? Right. The right. pie crusted apples. That's all you get. Right. Just like she said, pie crust and apples. You're not getting no, no doggy treats, none of that. None, none. No cheese, nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I'm wondering, because we know Rock going to tell uh, that she stepped to her. What's Howard going to do now? He damn near tried to get her fired and get her checked. I said, Burke shouldn't, or Burkle <laughs> shouldn't die. She ain't earned her death. But now, I think she working on it. He tried. I'm I said, so, I, I beg to differ. I feel like she putting in the overtime for me. <laughs> Think so. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, look, they ain't giving out overtime at the at the um precinct, but she putting in the overtime for her death. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely think she is on the clock now for sure, and she has been doing too much. I agree. She just didn't do anything concrete to anybody yet. That's the thing. Like, why I don't see it yet. Um, but if she started arresting or pulling people in or doing something that could actually be concrete, right now she annoying, but it ain't turned into nothing. But if she finds something, it probably will. Who knows? But My thing is this. I hope she don't talk to Scrappy's mother. Oh. That's, that's the only one that we worried about. If she talked to this lady, she might have an in, y'all. Mm -hmm. Remember I said it. Hey, that's a good one. That's another thing. I talked about it just briefly, but what's up with Scrappy Mother? Now, I got a theory that she's the one that kills Rock. Rock survives all the Italians, all the Cartier Farid. She in there getting apples and pie crust. You killed my boy! Bloom! Mm -mm. Want to be New Ooh. Jack City. What's up? You think she go? Because she ain't playing. She rolled up in that RoboCop no, Taurus. If she don't do, she gonna have to pacify Scrappy's mom because if she don't do something about it, she already heard what she said. I'm gonna do something about right. it. Right? So, she better say she found out who did it and killed somebody or something. Yeah, she better kill somebody. Yeah, cause uh, she ain't playing. She said my boy ain't killed himself, and your mama ain't doing nothing about it. Only thing, look, this is where she could work it to her advantage and take out Warrell. Mm. I don't That's know what y'all think, y'all. 
I like that. Rock could work this to her advantage and take out and tell Scrappy's mother about Warrell. Say he the one did and they, it. And they take 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 out Warrell. Yeah, because remember, they had that problem before when he lost his eye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see that. And then that would also help her with getting rid of Warrell and leaving Unique isolated. And mm -hmm. that would be a good one to, to solve that problem. I like that. Definitely. Look, everybody want him to die anyway. That, that he's on he's on people's death prediction list already. <laughs> right. Thank you, AG. It's a great theory. Yeah. Thank you. Combo theory. <laughs> but that's mm -hmm. a good one. I like that though. Um we'll see what happens. But Rock, she does have more problems than she's realizing right now. Um and she's thinking everything is kind of smooth other than what just happened with Marvin. Uh, she mm -hmm. trying to buy the house, this, that, and the other, and you know, you got a lot more problems uh, than you realize. Ronald said that wig, though. <laughs> eh, look, come on, she's a look. She's a middle aged woman. <laughs> <laughs> Cut us some slack, y'all. Uh, that's, that that's somebody, mama. I know, right? <laughs> hey, she that was wardrobe. She ain't picking no. <laughs> So we saw that Marvin, he was shook. He couldn't even light that square when he got the news. Do you think mm -hmm. Unique was actually looking out for Marvin when he gave him the heads up or looking out for himself? I mean, at this point now that he got it looking out for him is going to look out. He looking out for himself also because he basically co-signed them with everything. And, and and they wasn't going to work with Rock, but because of him, they decided to work with him. And he don't want to stop his money because you know why? He can't go back to Queens and do anything right now. So Jersey's his spot now, even though he, and he got two buildings. So, yeah, look, I don't want no trouble with these people. I'm going to try to, like, like defuse the situation. So I'm going to try to put give Marvin a heads up. But, mm -hmm. you know, it didn't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh I mean, I think that that's what he was trying to do. I agree, because um, they got the same interests. It's aligned uh, right at this moment. And with mm -hmm. the son being killed, he just as fragile right now as they are, in a sense. Um, yeah. So, you know, the Italians would never accept him, because he, you know, always going to be a little ninja from the hood to them. Whereas, exactly, you you could see that they that they didn't accept him when they didn't let him in the house mm -hmm. and he came in to offer his condolence. Everybody else was going inside. That's a good point. Nick was left on the outside. Good point. Like, like the business I do with him does not belong in my home. That's how basically how they get to him. Right. Stay on the porch, you monkey. <laughs> <laughs> you wait you wait right here. Right. You you hang on the porch. Ain't that what you people you used to doing anyway? No. Nah. <laughs> you should feel real comfortable over here. Uh <laughs> I, I think he sees it too though. Yeah. I believe, uh, he sees it too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh him working with Rock, even though they had their beef, they still mm -hmm. understand each other and respect each other. And he could have a place with her a lot easier than them, even though they got stuff to deal with too, you know. But they can they without dude, it's over. Is uh they you know he'd have to be putting in work to prove himself to them now. You got to go doing hits or something. Who knows what he'd have to do? So, you know, who knows? Mm -hmm. Speaking of hits, Marvin got hit. But we don't know how, where, who, what, when, where, why, and how. Uh, my girl Moochie got a little clip that she uh, shared, so I'm going to go ahead and play it. Let's see. You deserve the good stuff. You know that, right? Hey, Marvin. Jay, what you think? Oh. I, think he, I think they missed, yo. I want to say they missed. I think they miss because of the writing, <laughs> but they shouldn't have, you know what I mean? But I do think they missed. I agree. I think they got Renato. I don't think they just missed everybody. That's too much. 
That's too much. You may have missed okay. Marvin. You can't miss both now. Come on. Uh, Pretty Brown said Renee is going to the upper room. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> upper room. We on deck. Hey, I agree, man. You can't have both of them survive at that close range. And they supposed to be the hit men for the little Italian mob. Like, that will weaken their crew and everything they got going on. Look how everybody gave Lulu a hard time for missing Warrell. <laughs> okay, uh, Brandon Ethereal. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. He said, I saw some red. They got Renee. You think so? Mm. No, you think so? Uh, I didn't see no red. Oh, here we go. I saw some red. They got running. I didn't see the red. I didn't see that. I didn't see the red, and I didn't see... I know you all, you say you and Lamont and everybody watched it a few times. I haven't noticed anything that I can say definitive, you know, in that clip. We see him mm -hmm. shoot. You, I can't say I've seen anybody hit. I'll play it one more time. You can't really see anybody hit or any color because they fall down kind of. You don't know if they duck, fall, what. And they don't. The camera is kind of behind them over a shoulder. So we'll see. Look. You deserve the good stuff. You know that, right? Come on, Come on. See, oh. I just saw a puff of smoke. I don't know. Yeah, so I can't say definitive I saw anything, you know. Okay, so AG said, looks like Marvin tried to hide Renee. Lost Boys, Renee. That was the song they made about her because she got killed. No, I'm just, <laughs> Renee was a song about a girl by the Lost Boys, but uh, it <laughs> wasn't about her, of course. But... So, Samara says she saw red, and Danny Girl says she saw red. And LSW said red slashed against the wall. Well, maybe I can't see. It's possible. I'm getting old, man. I do probably Look, need some I don't glasses. Know. I, 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 I want to I wanna say, oh, somebody said a neck shot. J. Cam mm. said a neck shot. I'm going to play it one more time. Let's see. I don't see any of the stuff y'all are saying, but again, maybe I'm I can't see. Now. I'm really looking for red now. <laughs> you deserve the good stuff. You know that, right? Come on. I saw red. It was. It oh looked like a shoulder. God. It looked like a shoulder shot, not a neck shot. I see why he said neck shot because it is somewhere up here. It looked like it was Marvin that was shot, so though. He, okay, if he got hit in the shoulder, it's not that serious, y'all. Right. They'll probably say that Marvin got shot in the shoulder and she got shot in the chest or something. So they both got hit, but he lived and she didn't, is what I'm thinking mm -hmm. they should say. Uh, so I don't know. He say red bones can't see red. Oh uh. no. But yeah, I did see the red after y'all said it. I had to go uh, ahead and look. Marvin might be paralyzed. No, Jesus, no. Nah, you don't want to wish that on him. <laughs> no, no. I had to sip on my little happy water. I hear that. <laughs> I got some fruit infused. Yeah, I know that's right. Brandon, it's all good, man. I know you was playing. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a good one, man. The, uh, the red, I didn't notice that. Why did that. they call Marvin before they started shooting? I don't know. Hey, Marvin. But you know, hey, Marvin. <laughs> hey, Marvin. Look over, here. Look over here, you movie. I know, right? <laughs> hey, this bunch for you, eh? Over here. <laughs> Mooley Young. Hey. Marvin's okay, y'all. Yeah. Marvin's okay. Nah, I don't got no ripple. <laughs> <laughs> got that ripple. What do you want? Yeah, so Jay Carlos said the red was coming from Renee. 
Uh, let's see one more Y'all time. Y'all are scaring me now. That's the good stuff. You know that, that right? Come on, Come on, Oh, I paused it right on. Look like a is that her hair or her shoulder? Yeah, that's her hair, like. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, Lord. There's the red right in the middle of them. Mm. That's Marvin's arm. Yeah, so Marvin her got shoulder. hit in the arm. Yeah. I don't think, wait, okay, I don't think Marvin made it. This episode seemed like a Marvin redemption episode before his death. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean... Uh, and then, you know, they don't be expecting people to sometimes be this detailed and pause and look and rewind. So maybe this is not oh, as come accurate. come on. They know how the average hour <laughs> is. Hold on, Paul. We what, Paul? Oh, he got shot. I don't know. Maybe. Um, okay. Let's see. Most people say it more than made it. She got shot, but the, the therapist took the worst of it. Okay. I hope not. I don't know. Yeah, I think Renee is dead and Marvin got okay, shot. She, okay, let me ask you this, Jay. If she's dead, do you think we're going to see a bad side of Marvin now? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Like how he was with the, with the, the automatic and the lollipop. Are we seeing that too? Hell yeah, because he knows that she's gone because of him. And yeah. that's somebody that was a positive influence in his life that mm -hmm. actually got through to him. And uh, he really wanted to be a better person for himself and his daughter, but also for her too. Because he couldn't wait to go and tell her the news. He ain't even in the class no more. So, that's going to really break him up. We already was introduced to him as being a fork up. And he go one more thing. He didn't forked up. And I think that's going to really mess with him. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, the only thing that could probably save him from really going off the deep end is if him and Jukebox get back together and he realize I need to be here for her. But if they don't get back in, in their relationship and he forgets about that, it might be too late. He might go off the deep end and who knows, he might get in that zone. So I don't know. What you think? You think he gonna be able to snap out of it? I think he I think he is. But I if if uh, I don't wanna say if he if they did take out Renee we gonna see him. We gonna see him try to to redeem. He gonna he gonna get some type of revenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you think about Ziza? What is her angle? I mean, look, she's seen a lot. That girl. The question is: Is she gonna have? If is mom's the words gonna be what? Well, she gonna be able to keep her mouth closed about this whole situation because she's in on the murder too. It sounds like she helped get rid of the body or lured Crown Camacho there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she definitely an accomplice because according to the law, the moment she saw him dead, she was supposed to call police. So mm -hmm. once she started she helping... Like, what we going to do with his body? Right. Now you in on it. You, you, you might as well have killed him yourself according to the law. So J. Carlo says she want to die. <laughs> Savannah River says Ziza is, seems kind of evil. Yeah, I definitely think so. Ill Woods, okay. what's up, brother? Yeah. He said that revenge, if Marvin survives, will kill him. I think so, too. Mm, that's a good prediction. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. That revenge is going to get him killed, man. Definitely. And this girl, Ziza, or as my K. Leezy say, Zaza, uh, Zaza, <laughs> <laughs> something is up with her because she seemed at first as if she didn't want to be bothered doing her own thing when he pulled up. Maybe that's because of how he pulled up. I don't know. Now it seemed like this is what she do. Like she should have had a different reaction when he pulled up because she about that type of life. But 
It seemed like she didn't flipped. Maybe she just didn't like him stopping her and pulling her over like that, and she was just pissed. But this right. seemed like, yeah, it seemed like this was she do. She one of them hood rat chicks. <laughs> but she got an Aaliyah wannabe look. And so, mm -hmm. you know, she ain't got the little scrunchy with the greased up little half a ponytail, but she just as bad, and she wildin'. She liked that life, and I think she gonna end up being part of Lulu downfall, too. Some people say she could have been part of the setup with Fareed. Um, what do you think? Uh, maybe. But, I, I, you know what? Um, Okay, somebody says she gives me Harlequin vibes. Yeah, with the laughing and stuff, right? <laughs> um... We got to see if she's tight lip. If she's going to be down when she, like, the cops is coming to the studio next. Y'all know this. Now, they could just be like, he told us he was going on vacation. And, you know, I'm thinking he's coming back. But it doesn't look good because now Cartier Fareed's got this kid's share. Yeah, that's true. So, um, yeah, that's a good point. They could play off the vacation. Um, but then how you selling off his business if he on vacation? He didn't sign no paperwork or do none of that. How you, what the heck? Something ain't right. And that could start to be, they unraveling as well. Let me ask you this. Do you think Marvin, Lulu, and Rock will end up dead in jail or they all live whether they live in jail or not but they live I guess or rather I say live free I don't know for some reason I don't, I don't see all of them making it out of this mm -mm. I don't either I think Lulu might end up in jail and Marvin and Rock could end up dead Mm. You know, because his moves are not really leading to death, but are leading to possible jail time. Now, it depends on what happened with Cavassier and whether he crossed him and he want him dead. But, you know, Lulu is being sloppy with some things that could end him in prison quicker than probably him dead. I don't know. You know what my take on it is? If they, if the Thomas family sits down and talk about who did what, then maybe they could get themselves out of this out of this predicament. We already know uh, Marvin's secret done came out. So the next person whose things got to come out now is Lulu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. And uh, we'll see... Because I thought we might have saw some of that to this episode because Rock couldn't get the house without proof of income. And she said she had the record label. So I'm wondering, I thought something was going to come up then when she do that. And he'd be like, oh, by the way, Fareed is in this now. I thought that would have came up sooner than it. Yeah, but I don't even think they know about the house. I'm talking about Lulu and Marvin. They don't know about that house yet. Damn, so that's a good is, point. How is this going to all come up? That is a good point. Y'all let me know in the comments what do you think. Did Rock tell Marvin and Lulu about that house? If you think she did, put a 1R if she told them. If she didn't, put a 2R. Um, I don't think she told them. I'm agree with you on that. I think that she only told Kanan and, and uh, Symphony so far. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick two off for $200. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I wonder you know, why she didn't tell them that. I guess, I, it, I, I don't know. They all have a problem with communicating to me. Like, everybody's keeping stuff hidden. And um, I think they're going to have to hash out. They're going to have to have a, a, a rap session or something, a family dinner where they talk about no secrets from anybody on anybody's part. Yeah, she tried that. Then the next thing you know, she <laughs> had secrets. 
She don't know how to yeah. follow her own rules. She don't know how to exactly. Mm-hmm. Cause she tried to do and that with Kanan. Voting two R. I ain't seen gnarly nobody with a one R. I got one one R. I see the majority is two R. Yeah, two R. I don't think so either. Um, but she tried that with uh Kanan, and and then next thing you know, she got a body in the trunk. Mm-hmm. You know, talking about we want to get away and have some time alone. Man, you want me to help you bury this body? Like, your ass don't even try to do what you want everybody else to do. That's why nobody else come to her. And that's why her organization is the pro- has the problems it does. Because, you know, leadership is from the top down. So you can't... Yeah, she can't tell her secrets. Mm-hmm. But it's, it looked like... Kaden's finding some of these secrets out, y'all. It's some of these secrets she need to tell because it involve other people. Like, she should have exactly. just came and told Kanan. He gonna find out and then he know you a liar. You were sneaky. Mm-hmm. Now you ruined everything because you had a secret. Then you was lying. You was sneaky. All of that. And, and then he started to put together in this episode. I don't know if y'all noticed. He said when... She had him kill, oh boy. He said, she had me do that thing she shouldn't have had me do. Now I'm thinking it was for something else altogether anyway. Now he of knows. Course, he yeah. knows. He's putting it together. Right. You ain't had me killing him because of the family. You ain't want me to find out he's my dad. Dirty. Dirty. So, yeah. And uh, who who said what you gonna do? Oh, uh, Howard. What you gonna do when he find out you messing up all your secrets and stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what do you think about Kanan when he pretty much confronted her in the kitchen about? Yeah, you don't know what it's like being with an older person or whatever. Or maybe you do. Mm. What did you think he about that? Know well, he know a little bit, but he not, he don't want to let the cat out of the bag. Mm-hmm. Rock say, if you going to tell me something, you might well go see. As he, you won't see. He going to spit see. it out, watch. <laughs> he know he ain't to the age where he ain't beyond getting smacked up the head yet. Mm-hmm. Now, when he get older and he knows she ain't going to put no hands on him when he say something, it's over. He going to let it all out. But That whole scene with, with them at that house, she, you know how somebody be like, look, I know he knows something, but I'm too afraid to find out the answer. And that's what it seemed like where she was with it. Mm-hmm. That's the crazy part. Yeah, that's a great point. It's exactly what it seemed like. He know, but he don't know. But I don't want to know how much he know, because then that might help mm-hmm. him know more. So we're going to leave it alone. And uh, like somebody who is this Rainy J say, they switched the convo. That's exactly what they Yeah, up definitely. Yeah, that was real writing right there because that type of stuff does happen. And that tenseness happens. And then people will switch it up because they don't want to go over that line. But they want to know, but you don't want to know. You know, so mm-hmm. how long do you think he going to? Stay away from Rock because uh, he trying to what move out? What he gonna do? Where he gonna live? How this gonna work? Mm. Look, he been staying at the father's house. It looked like he gonna be at Famous House because that's where he was moving. Oh wait, this is a good Nish- Nishika Hancock. She says they may take Famous out to cover Scrappy's death. Mm. I feel like it's gonna be Warrell. Mm-hmm. That Warrell would be real bad. Yeah, she said or Warrell after that. Mm-hmm. I think I Famous be would be a big reach because he don't have that type of you know reputation yeah, of killing a scrappy. Like that. Yeah, she wouldn't believe his little butt would have took out her boy. Um, so I don't know. Jace, you talk about the new house, Jay Smith, that they. It looked like that house. I said that the first time I seen it, but everybody was like, I don't think so. Because remember, it was a abandoned house. Yeah, so, no. Nah, that house, Rock's house? Yeah, they, nah. they say, is that the house that Jukebox... Remember when Jukebox took... Uh, it was at a read? big, that nice neighborhood, but I don't think so that was they it. they saying, is that the house that... Uh, 
basically jukebox took to hell to reek in where he, basically jukebox got killed in the house mm -hmm. i don't know but i, I thought of I, I i did think it could be because that's good when thinking you look at the inside of it it did look like it when she was talking to kanan that mm -hmm. time when 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 she was talking to kanan saying look you know you was, you wasn't even supposed to do this you were supposed to take him out Look at the inside of that house and think about it. It looks somewhat the same. Okay. But, you know, I could be wrong. It could be wishful thinking. I like to connect pieces, you know. Mm -hmm. Who knows? I mean, I didn't think of that. That's good thinking. <laughs> thinking of that as connection. I, as they said, and I remember off memory... I don't remember them being that similar, but again, mm -hmm. when we was watching it then, I wasn't focused on the house that much. We was right, watching it the just story. Seemed like a abandoned house that right. nobody would pay attention to. Exactly. So I'm not sure, but that's a good one uh, to think about. Um, what? But why would she go to that house? We don't know how much time she spent there. Maybe she lived with her there. We don't know. So we we'll don't see. know now. But yeah. Why would she pick that place to go to of all places? Um, but we'll see. Um, so speaking of Juke, we all know that she had the conversion therapy and they mm -hmm. didn't whipped her with the spoon. What do you think? How? Well, here's the bigger question. How did they know she was gay? What do you think made them, you know, think this is what she needed? And uh, we never saw a conversation or anything take place. And she oh, was actually she trying to do the right thing. So what's up? What what you think? I, I feel like she was trying to be two steps ahead of her mother, too, with the date and everything with um with the other with the with the kid. I just feel like uh, with this, I don't know. I I, I want to say the only way they could have she could have gathered information was. Remember the first conversation when she said I was doing things I didn't have any business doing, but Jukebox didn't elaborate on what she was doing. The only other time was when she saw the guys on the street that she boosts with and they said, like, I never thought you could look like that. And maybe that's maybe she's getting it from that. That's a good points. I mean, you know, it's possible. I mean, if that is where she got it from, she sure made a hell of a jump uh, to do that. But they yeah. didn't ever show us anything. So we left to kind of guess and figure out, you know. Um, some people think maybe because of how she dressed with the baggy clothes, kind of hip hop. But in that time period, all the people dressed like that at that age. You know, I was... Talking to plenty of females that was wearing Tommies and polos and stuff. That's what we all wore in that time period. So I wouldn't have thought they were, you know, gay from that. Um, no. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that. Um, it's just weird. I wonder why they skipped that part and, uh, and just went to such an extreme uh, jump. So, I don't know. What do you think? You think Kenya would have been better off trying to talk to her? Or it should have been a different... It definitely should have been I a different approach. I think they should have had a conversation but. first. You made this girl cut school. She cut school to go there and meet her. And then you turn around and ambush her this way? With this intervention? This was crazy. Yeah. Definitely. She, and she still had an opportunity to shut it down once they started hitting her. Yeah. Do you think uh, when she, she kind of was saying, you ain't say nothing about hitting, do you think she should have stopped it then? I mean, or... Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. If she would have stopped... Not what, could they would have been... Could Jukebox have forgave her if she would have then? Or you think it was... They probably could have... They probably could have mended, but I don't know. She's She's been like... That was... That was an ordeal that she went through. That was crazy. Definitely. Definitely, yeah. She definitely had a hell of a time. And, you know, it was definitely unfortunate. It was shocking. Have you ever heard of a church 
with uh, doing this, making them watch that type of material. No, they said they got conversion camps, but the the um the video, I never seen anything like that. Right. I've, that was crazy. Exactly. I've never heard of the video or the hitting even on the hand with a spoon. Mm -hmm. I've heard of conversion and what they'll try to pray and talk to you and all of that stuff. But I didn't uh I didn't hear of this extreme and I actually asked a couple people that I know that's been in the church for a while and they say mm -hmm. they didn't hear of this level before or see this. So some people saying it was a cult, that they're a cult. What do you think? You think this is a cult behavior or they what? It's a good one. <laughs> because, of course, you know, they want to try to make the church look kind of like a cult or look bad. Um, but maybe this is something that has happened. A, a lot of people are not familiar with this, so I don't know. Um, as far as a cult, I didn't think that when I watched it, but I did think they were doing too much. So, Moochie, you can't hear you. With this whole thing, they, um, I, I feel like they messed up with this. Can you, the mother messed up. You just getting back into this girl's life and you could have talked to her first to find out if she was having those feelings. You you couldn't even confirm that she's having it. You was just guessing. And this is after the fact that she went out on a date with this kid and kissed him. Mm -hmm. Right. That's true. Yeah, they, they definitely uh -uh. made a misstep with this one. And, I mean, 50 Cent doing the narrating, he said... Now you know why she the way she is. Everybody she ever cared about or loved did her wrong. Um, I mean, she was even burning all them good clothes. So, you yeah. know, stuff she would have stole before. Now she don't want to even see it no more. So, I don't know. What did you think when she confronted her mom? And it seemed like she had, like, real hatred when she was telling her she don't want nothing to do with her. I mean, Wow. What do you think with that? I, I'm, I'm glad she confronted her that way because it's like Marvin did warn her. She's She doesn't care about anybody but herself. She's on some other-ish. And even though Marvin has his, his things about him, he said the right things last week. At least I keep trying. He said the right thing except for I'm sorry. Oh, so I Lord. think she she sees it. She she she's hurt though. Mm -hmm. She's hurt because she thought she was gonna really have a good relationship with her mom there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. And I think on the side note that uh, jukebox Haley Kilgore is probably the best actor on the show. Um, damn, she's a really good actress. Really Paul good. Oh, Patina. Look, this yeah. is a good cast. It is a good, cast. a good cast. It is. And that's no shade on anybody else either. You know, but she's had probably the most emotional scenes, which yeah, gave her the best material. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're seeing a lot more range with her. She can sing. She can, you know, rap. She can be tough. She can cry she could fight she could be upset she we done seen her do it all in this show so yeah yeah she's really really talented and uh i definitely had to give her, her props for that you know but overall mm -hmm. the cast is good and there's no weak members you know uh i right. mean you know famous but that's his character so he playing the character so i wouldn't say that um so before we get up out of here, what do you want to see or predictions or thoughts for the next episode? What do you think is happening? You can go wherever you want to go. Mention whatever you want to mention. What I want to see, I want to see. I want to see something happen to Burke. Either she get fired or they take her out. Because now you're doing too much and you done defied your captain again. 
Bob, he already gave you this warning. To me, is she going to get fired? Mm. It's either that or they're going to have to take her out. Yeah. I, I want to see the Thomas family unite and take out all of their enemies. And um, everybody that's a threat to them. I feel like for some reason, Unique is going to be that thorn in their side a little longer. So I don't think he's going anywhere. Okay. All right. I think he might even help them in regards to look. If if I help you with this, just give me Jersey and y'all. Right, you. and that's what I was gonna say. I think we I gonna think see they gonna unique. Work out something. Yeah, I think he gonna end up being with them and working with them, and uh, we'll see how it all play out. I don't know if it may end well, but I think he'll probably try to align himself with them and give them a heads up because. Uh, Sal might put him in a position where he gonna have to turn on them, and if he do that, now he know he by himself because then he'd be only with them and have nobody to go to. So mm-hmm. we'll see with that. And uh, uh, as far as the Marvin thing for next episode, of course we gonna find out what happened. I do think, especially after reviewing it tonight, thanks for the video, uh, Moochie. Um, he did get shot. I thought he might have got shot. I don't think he's dead. I still don't think he's dead. I don't think he's dead either. I don't think what he's up, dead. Art love? Yeah, but I do think that Renee is dead. I do think Ooh. that. Yeah, I don't want her to die. It's similar. To die you know either. they use a lot of similar points. We just saw it in Force where the guy lived and the woman got killed. Gloria. Yeah. And he got shot. Here it come again, mm-hmm. I'm thinking, you know, so. So you think it's like a, the glorious situation? I think it's it. like that, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. All so, right. so we'll see. But uh, I want to thank everybody for coming. Almost 200 people tonight. I appreciate it. Uh, staying up with me and my girl, Moochie. Don't forget to check her out. Subscribe to the channel. The links is in the description. Uh, She's trying to get to that 2K. So, help her get up in there. You know, she's been working hard on the grind. It's been, what, two years now? Three years? Two years? Yeah, two years. It'll be two, two years. years. Wow. Time flies, I'm huh? just trying to get my bones. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please come on, subscribe to my channel, and holler at your girl and have some fun with me. Ew. There you go. Hit her up. <laughs> um, I appreciate everybody. Thanks for coming through. Don't don't forget to, you know, show some love, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and uh I'll see y'all on the next one. I did do a little video of my thoughts on Marvin, so check it out. Short one. And uh peace. Everybody have a good night. And uh all we right up out of here. Y'all have a good one. And we out. Ew. Thank <laughs> you.